This is Steve. And this is Sean. This is Acromedia's High Five. Did you look at the high five? I did not look at the high five. Way I'm to a go. professional, okay? <laughs> Unlike you. Yes, ask clearly. me the question. What are we gonna talk about today, We're Steven? gonna talk about the digital product and recurring subscription in the Urban Hipster demo. That was necessary? Yes, it yeah, was, okay. because we're pretty excited because it's the new feature release for the Urban Hipster demo, <laughs> which shows, if you, didn't, if you missed the last episode or a couple episodes ago, not sure which one it is, um, it demonstrates um, everything that Urban Hipster is. And we go over it in detail. We also go over the, the Axe Builder, the custom mm -hmm. product. Yeah. Well, so we, did the, we did the Urban Hipster one, and then now we're talking about uh, Urban Hipster Plus features, which are some right. of the features that aren't so easy out of the box, mm -hmm. um, but that Drupal Commerce can still do. Um, so when Steve's referring to the custom Axe Builder, that was one of the plus features. And so this is going to be another one of the plus features that we talk about. Thank you, Correcty Pants. But uh, so yeah, so today we're going to be talking about the digital product. Oh. <laughs> Sassy. We're going to be talking about you know what that means, um, how you purchase it, uh, what it means in the back end, and also uh, talking a little bit about um, the idea that it's a subscription and that you can also do that through Drupal Commerce. So, Sean, do you want to maybe just give us a little bit, bit of a backstory on the idea of recurring subscriptions in Drupal Commerce, just that um, kind of as a starting point? Yeah, and recurring subscriptions is actually uh, two things. It's recurring payments, as in payments that happen on a schedule. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's also licensing, which is, okay, you get access to something. Mm -hmm. And so those two things usually have to go together. Um, everyone kind of thinks about them as the same, but, but giving access to something and charging someone on a monthly basis are different things. For sure. And so you usually have both of those where you say, hey, if you pay $10 a month, then you get Netflix. Netflix being the license, $10 a month being the recurring fee. You're not getting anything new, you're just maintaining that access. Yes, and then, but there's all kinds of little quirks of like, um, so your credit card doesn't process because you canceled it and you got a new one or something mm -hmm. like that. Do you stop getting access immediately? Is there a grace period? You know, what about renewing? What happens to like if you had account info? Assumedly, that all stays. But there, there's all there's little extra bits that you don't necessarily think mm -hmm. about um, that you have to do because you can't just like cancel necessarily. That might be really bad for someone or whatever. And you might not want to do that to your customers, or you might sure. want to attempt to encourage you know resubscription. Um, and in this case, um, talking about the you know the recurring payment, um, but mm -hmm. even the access to the product. In this case, mm -hmm. being it's a digital product, if you were mm -hmm. to um, obtain the product, it can be either via email, it can be a key. You might have to log in and retrieve it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, a di even a digital product isn't sort of just one thing because it can be like a download mm -hmm. that you get access to, you know, like whether it's, you know, songs or a program or something like that. Um, it can be just access to the site, you know, where it's like just lets you log in. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's different enough. again. Or it can be, um, you know, just a a key that gives you access to something that you, you download and it activates a, a trial and makes it a full product or something like that. So in the Urban Hipster mm -hmm. demo, um, in the actual, I think it's the Sir Mix a bit is the is mm -hmm. the uh, the product and the CT if you go to the home page. You go through that funnel, it's first off using a lot of some of the functionality to the Axe Builder um, mm -hmm. just to view the product. And then it has three different uh, purchases you can make. Whether uh, I can't remember exactly, but there's a 4.99 subscription all the way up to a 22 something for yeah. It's, it's all it's all the lengths you do. So like if you only buy one month, it's mm -hmm. more expensive. If you buy six months, it's cheaper. If you buy a year, it's even cheaper, right? Per month, like the overall cost is bigger, but the yep. per month cost is lower, right? So, so you're able to add it to mm -hmm. your cart. You're able to buy the product. Um, you put it into your cart, viewed very similar, well, the exact same as any mm -hmm. other product shows in your cart. But mm -hmm. the difference now is once you purchase it. It's a digital mm -hmm. good, yeah, and it, that's go ahead. It's the pricing, and it's it's how things work in the back end. Um, the display is is sort of deliberately very similar. You know, uses all the same functionality. It's a product like any other product. You can mix and have digital and physical products. You know, basically in the same order or mm -hmm. you know the same catalogs and everything. And while the the digital product the the, the purchase flow is the same, um, what can mm -hmm. someone expect um, out of the box if they're trying to buy, if they're trying to use Drupal Commerce for a digital good? I mean, digital goods completely work out of the box. There is a digital good type. Uh, the two default product types are physical and digital. Okay. Um, and so it, it basically just understands that it doesn't need shipping. It doesn't need dimensions. It doesn't need anything that involves it actually, you know, existing in a physical sense. So it's just a simpler product type that doesn't have that stuff. Because you don't want to, if someone's only purchasing a digital good, you don't want to, like, throw up, put in your shipping info. Why? You know, nothing's getting shipped to you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Um, and so it's just those kind of things. And the same, conversely, on the back end, you don't need to have, okay, fulfill this order. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it probably fulfills automatically, or if it doesn't, it's still, you still won't have to balk something up, right? And, and this piece of functionality, even though it's for a digital product, you could use it the same for an actual physical product. Obviously, you'd have to toggle the other type of product, but the idea of subscription is just using, using the recurring Yeah, the, module, the right? subscription uh, functionality, the recurring billing functionality, doesn't have to, anything to do with a digital product. It mm -hmm. can be a donation, so you're not really receiving any product, mm -hmm. you know, or it can be you know, a monthly fee, uh, or even a, not even a monthly fee, but it can be like a amortized payments. Yeah. You know, you pay for something over the process of a year or something like that. Well, when we were mm -hmm. when we were uh, going through the the creative process of figuring out what we'd want to put on the Urban Hipster demo, one thing that did ori originally come up was an actual physical good subscription. We were thinking mm -hmm. about you know the idea of socks or coffee or something like that. Yeah, a Dollar that. Shave Club is a, is yeah, a yeah. classic example of it and stuff where they Which, send you each month. Mm -hmm. You know. But in the end, um, obviously, in this case, showing two different pieces of functionality, not only the, the subscription piece, but also the digital good with, with, this, with this feature. Yeah, because we felt if we had to do the, the digital good, it would probably be subscription anyways, and then we were mm -hmm. overlapping, and so we might as well just put them as one. From your own personal opinion standpoint, um, when, you know, this as a feature, is this something that you know, people should be really, you know, stoked about? Like, is it really different than what exists in Commerce One? Is, is there a big milestone we hit with this? Um, it's a lot nicer and a lot uh, better architected um, in Commerce One, or than Commerce One, mm -hmm. and it requires a lot, uh, it required almost like a whole suite of modules in Commerce One because you needed to have the card on file functionality, mm -hmm. you needed to have sort of this whole chain of functionality, whereas now you just need like recurring licensing, you add those two modules in and all the card on file stuff, the recurring, like the capacity to store a credit card, all that stuff built in, so it makes it much easier um, to work with, so it's generally uh, less bug prone and uh, smoother to work with is, is the sort of biggest change there. The functionality is fairly similar. There's only so much you can do sort of for recurring payments. Um, it can be extended a bit nicer. Um, that hasn't come up too much yet. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good out of the box already, but um, yeah. Right on. Mm -hmm. So uh, regarding Sir Mix a bit, what's mm -hmm. the too long didn't read? Um, digital products, recurring products, and licenses all in one. Got it. Pretty easy. Awesome. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do so below. Um, subscribe to our channel. Um, and also, uh, date specific here, we're going to be uh, at the DrupalCon in Nashville here in April. So if mm -hmm. you want to connect with us, obviously hit us up on LinkedIn or hit Sean up on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And we're probably going to have some sweet shirts that you can order. Um, through so Urban Hipster. Through Urban Hipster, the demo, which we just mentioned. So keep an eye out for that, depending on when you view this. Um, also, follow us on Facebook. Uh, check out our blog at acromedia.com. And follow me on Twitter.